Hello everybody, welcome to the Contenchburg Steelers playoff game versus Le Bread Mask and his Baston Brady Maskies. Um, he's got two unbelievable war dancers with tackle strip. Uh, one has wrestle, which won't be very relevant. The other has mighty blow, which will be very relevant. He has a move up catcher, he has a guard catcher, loads of blodge. Um, another guard, just a horrifying, horrifying team to face with lizard men. Um, though my team is pretty great with low to block guard, um, a couple of tackle, a mighty blow tackle, a couple of mighty blow, an edge up sidestep, really nice, except no block or, or show hands for him. Uh, maybe he should have got a touchdown, but I was busy, I was busy skilling up Sora, so he didn't get to score another touchdown. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting. Fingers crossed, uh, I pull through in the booth doing the commentary. Oh my god, it's you! <laughs> Thank you so wow. much. For doing the commentary, it is Dimmy G. And for, oh, did you not know who was playing, Dimmy? How did you get into the quarterfinal? I oh, know, <laughs> right? Unbelievable. My team's when amazing, did you start Dimmy. Oh, I know. Well, it's, 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 not, it's not like anything that matters. I should have, I should have wow. known when he said the Pride, Pride 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 Pride. <laughs> <laughs> You should have known when the Pittsburgh oh, Steelers. Yeah. This is going to be amazing. Oh, like. <laughs> Like what? Like we can tell how well the game's going by how quickly Jim joins the commentary team. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that is definitely a fact. If, if we don't um, hear Jim's voice by full time, it's gone really well. <laughs> if we hear Jim at half time, it's gone very badly. <laughs> There's always the chance that within 20 minutes, this becomes a Battle Brothers Brothers stream. <laughs> yeah, you've if got, the first yeah. couple of turns go really, really badly, we could see all, Battle Brothers by eight. All ranged. Right. I've already, uh, I've already got my, uh, I've already got my spreadsheet open on the other window. So, <laughs> 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 right, uh, yeah, PC and Dimmy, thank you so much, guys, for doing this. I shall concentrate on the game, allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, it's the SFL. Ah. My, my hair is actually looking like the SFL logo at the moment. I haven't had a haircut since September. Are you gonna follow on Jim's shared screen? Uh, nah, because when I watch Jim shared screen, it goes all distorted and lags. It, it and it's, does it's tend to. I'm pulling out my own client, so. Nah, I can't be bothered to that. Mate. I'm just going to watch it okay. on the stream. So if, if I'm completely delayed, that's normal. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we'll, <laughs> if we'll struggle really, to really this. If I'm really, really delayed, it's because I'm watching Jim stream. <laughs> oh, he's got a tackle. Mighty he blows or us. Oh. He does. He did mention that at quite some length before the game, but clearly, you oh. know, you weren't there or were. Nah, no. Nah. It sort of went through you. So he's got one tackle guard block Saurus and a tackle mighty blow Saurus. So he's got two very, very nice Sauruses to deal with these elves. There's also no mm. tree, so there's nothing to counter the hitting. Uh, Tom has gone very much with the, uh, what I always call the player's water wood elf build. So it's maximizing the, the ability to move around, to keep you know everything, the whole space, the whole field is these elves' playground. I'm I'm going to call this three one to bread mask now. I I do think Jim's got a point. Those dancers are lethal to these skinks. Well, yeah, and he's got no sure hands. He's got no block. He's got like no, no defensive skills. Yeah, forgotten to build a proper ball carrier of any kind. But he does have a couple of spare skinks, so he can afford to lose a couple. He can throw some of the rookies under the, the you know under the bus. He does have a diving tackle. There's an agility one, so there's no sure hands, but he can keep the ball um, and move it quickly. What he can't do is defend it very well. Um, he, can, sorry, he can pick it up and move it quickly. What he can't do is defend it very well. Um, but he has got, as I said, a load of bash on him, despite there being some guard on the elf side. I, I don't love guard on wood elf teams. I mean, it's great for getting hold of the ball, but wood elf teams shouldn't be fighting. And if the guard makes them fight or think, makes them think they can fight, then there's a good chance they get banged out because of it. To me, guard on an elf team is about unlocking, not about going to war. Him uh, electing to kick straight to the uh, movement up catcher. I mean, yeah, I'm that was not mistake. sure that was the play, but... No, you know. I think that was bad. Yeah. That was Jimmy bad. should actually have chosen to, uh, to kick with a blitz as well, and he seems to have forgotten to do that. Yeah, poor decisions already from Jim. I it think is. he might have... Um, he might be slightly out of practice with the amount of Battle Brothers that he's playing at the moment. I've uh, just Steam just popped up saying Jim is now playing Battle Brothers. <laughs> so. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, Instant, uh, instantly rewarded. Wow. And we see the app off coming. Ah, 
Jim putting it all on a turn one and two that don't break his heart here. It's a tilt, Apo. Well, maybe it's not tilt from Jim, but. No, I think Jim sees his advantage in this game as his sources. He's got, as I said, strength and tackle. There's no tree. There's nothing much to counter them. Um, there is, you know, there is a hitty elf. Oh, if he cares, everybody this. has to have a hitty elf. But really, <laughs> he shouldn't be expecting many more removals. That Apo is reasonably safe. I mean, where he expects the removals is the skinks, and he has spare skinks. Yeah, Tom Sneeze is an absolute git as well. He's he's he very is, he is a bubble, dice yeah. lording son of a bitch. Yeah, he is. He is. And he's from he the part of France he cannot trust. Food. Of course, he is Quebecois, is he not? Uh, I think he's part of that clan. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so. basically French. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. yeah. He probably says about. He probably says dark things in a sort of guttural French accent that even the French don't understand. <laughs> exactly. Oh, cheers, Bembo. It is indeed one of the better informed commentators. <laughs> well, PC, yeah. So you, mate. Secretly, you know your stuff about Blood Bowl. I, I I don't really know much about Lizards and Woodies because I don't really play a ton of either of these races, to be honest. In fact, I think I've got less than four games with Woodies. I've yes, played. You've faced them, plus all pieces are the same. The race doesn't matter, it's what they yeah. do. Yeah. You sound like Elliot now. That's true. But, like, uh, I've played a fair bit of Lizards, and all I know is Elves are a massive issue. Uh, for lizards, like. So we're seeing Jimmy go with the sort of dwarf wall defense here, picking on the elves nice at the front KO. and putting lots of threat on them. Um, I love that. I think that's the right strategy. Gets his reward. Backs up the crocs with some of the trash skinks. He's got nice to be turn. careful with the skinks, and that's the thing. No, no he's got Say two no? on the bench. Jim. Oh, he's got two. Oh, okay, all right. I mean, you don't want to throw them away casually, but you know they're all they—they they can be thrown under the bus if it gets Quite a nice stuff from our, our gym there. Lovely. Mm. Lizards without an apo is pretty terrifying, though, because if we've got threat to four elves, okay. only one of which has dodge, and one of which is on a tail, so that's all nice. Um, we're not bothering threatening the guard pieces because we don't need to. It's fine. And there's a good chance he brings them to us, which is why I don't love guard. If it makes him try and fight these sauruses. I think he's going to hit the crocs here with the yeah, skillless lino, is. which I is going to open up blitz on the skink with a mighty blow wood elf. Uh, war dancer, sorry. Um, I, I, I absolutely believe you're right. And I'm think. not sure that's a very good idea. No, I don't. I, I don't think it would have been... I, I would have much preferred the 3 plus dodge off on the skillless lino, but, you know. No block on the Crocs. He's the easiest target to hit other than the Skink. Um, maybe he mighty blows the Crocs. Yeah, but he is he's the only thick skull piece on the uh, on the pitch as well. Yep, there is that. Does get the power. Okay, now he's coming for the Skink. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's very, it's very reachable. He and can't get really, well. yeah, but he has no, to GFI out. He has to GFI out to uh, clear the crocs to go. And that's always the worry about attacking the crocs, is they can still get up with three spaces of movement, and that tail is a pain in the arse. No, he's going to out the front end, Jim. Oh, he follows. Yeah, and then pushes out the front. There okay. we go, see. So now he's off the crocs. But the crocs are still going to stand up with, you know... Oh, Jim can... Oh, I was going to say, Jim can clear the tackle mighty blow. Uh, yeah, this he has to GFI. He has to GFI. That was uh, a little bit sloppy for me. Well, I mean, I mean, it's given him a nice little pocket he can bring the full ball forward to next turn if he wants. I mean, he he's not interested in bringing the ball forward. <laughs> he he should, really, but he could if he wanted to. He could, yeah, absolutely. Probably no need to. Oh, he is re-rolling it. It's very early to save only uh, one elf. That's confidence, but he had four rerolls as well. So yeah, um, but that is, yeah, that's that. I think that's a sign of confidence. Okay, so no elves in contact at the end of the turn, but one reroll stolen. I mean, yes, three more. You're right. That's plenty. He did get one on the kickoff for, um, I don't know, having more a better hat or something. Yeah, I'm smashing that guard lino with the uh, tackle mighty blowcrocks. Uh, Saurus. 
You see, I think I'm rescuing the Crocs off the one that's uh, marking it, the trash catcher. Oh, well, and then the, putting uh, him in on back the two onto a couple of the guard ones. Yeah. And Jim, Jim is thinking. And that it as looks well. like that's what Jim's doing too. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, gets the removal and the. I mean, the Crocs could even go two south and one to the left of where it is. Onto the advanced elf and just one of the guards. That's a nice space. Either of those two. Puts the tails a good use. Good trade there, like KO the line out or catcher for a stun skink. But first, Mighty Blow Saurus can either drop into either of those same two positions or stay off them behind the stun skink. And it looks like Jim's going to try and center it. Yeah, I think that's probably so wise. It's such a key piece that to have it sent is great. Oh! Wow! Okay, that is such a first half reroll. And again, I don't think we'd have seen it if Jimmy didn't have four. But he pops the reroll in to get the loner Croxigore stood up and into the position he wanted. Pulls those other Sauruses across and instantly the elves, despite having the guard, they just they're not in this fight. They cannot fight. And you see the space that Jim's put that final Saurus into, if it looks odd, it's because that's the leverage space. If you look at the shape that's built with the Sauruses and the Elves, from that space where that Saurus has stood, you could get some interesting chains pushing Sauruses around, pushing Elves around. So that's a nice spot to stop in because it stops all of those shenanigans. And no one likes someone doing shenanigans all over them. The cleaning bill alone. I think we're going to see a delayed withdrawn offense here. I just certainly don't think there's any harm, in any speed for the ball coming forwards, but. Yeah, I think it's just going to disengage and. Who does now that you've got elves up and they've broken the line of some of the lizards, it'd be kind of weird to go all back behind it. Uh, it's turn three for Tom. Like, yeah. it's early days. He might carry on trying to hit skinks, but. He's already yeah. lost two catches, remember? Yeah, which is a little bit squeaky. It's a fascinating game. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone all right for the lizards, apart from the apo. It's gone all right for the. Lizards. It's gone all right for both. Yeah. I mean, the the woodies haven't actually suffered any actual damage. There's two KOs, but that's it. And I like this as well. The delay in the play makes you think that he doesn't quite know what to do. Like he's split between decisions here, which means that uh, Jim's done all right. Tom's a, a notoriously fast player on BB as well. And bless my soul, looks like you're right, Dewey. It looks like we are seeing a full-on pullback yeah. from the elves. Otherwise, this blitz makes little sense. I think I think it had to be really. To be honest, it was uh, it, like for me, this was the yeah disengage, get away, pray you don't roll, uh, once kind of turn. He has to protect that dancer and he has to dodge to protect the dancer as well, which is scary. And he doesn't have any dodge on these linos, like where they've rolled guard. He doesn't actually have a ton of dodge. And the only dodge he has got is on the Croxagore as well, which is uh, interesting. And this is this is the dwarf coach coming out in Tom Shinis here. He's choosing to bang rather than to to well, as I said, I, I mean, yes, you've got the guard, you've got the hits, but is it right to take them? I think he's going to try and really chain want the to be in a up. fight. I think he's going to try and chain. Oh no, it's not. It's not. I thought he might one D and try and chain the crocs out there so he can get the three plus dodge out for the uh, the wrestle guy that he went for. He has got to protect that dancer. That dancer is. Well, he's got to protect both realistically, but. He's got to make some rolls. That's all you can do against Woodies as well, isn't it? Is you just fourth rolls. Like that's yep. that's all you can really do. That's why I hate playing against Woodies. Is because a lot of the time, sometimes, especially when they're a child, you, you sometimes just end up watching your opponent play blood ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Doesn't take the dodge on the wrestle. Wow. 
I think I would have took that dodge. I think I would, as a, particularly as a final action. I think he wanted to keep the... Uh, yes, he's, he's trying to nail the crocs in place, isn't he? Yeah. But, I mean, like, the tackle might... He... You don't really want to blitz the wrestle, to be fair. Now, Jim's... This is a hard turn for This is a harder turn for Jim, because... It's really what he wants um, to say. I think it's a harder turn, like, than the last I mean, turn. lots of lovely space to pile forwards into. I think that's all he's going to do at this point. He's just going to all-man, too, so fair enough. Yep, you're spot on. He's just going to put more and more of that pressure on the woodies. And is he going to get punished for not going for the skillless? No, gets the pow on a catcher. AV7, mighty blow. He did make it a three die, to be fair, but yeah. Yeah, beautiful play, beautiful play. Just need to grab a drink. PC's on the vodka. No apo from Mr. Schniz. And that is, again, maybe a sign of confidence. I don't know. Hard to tell. I guess he's saving it for the uh, dancers. But he's uh, running out of catches. Is there any... Uh, babes? Are there any babes in this game? Did anyone actually pay attention to what Jimmy was doing at the start of the game? Because I'm not inclined. I can't be bothered to load it up. Speaking of vodka, be right back. Absolutely, goddamn, literally. Have a pint of vodka, mate. That's the, uh, that's the way. And these skinks are not leaving the pitch either, are they? Two stuns. I mean, obviously, he's he's he's, he's got all four skinks on the pitch. He's a little bit more spread out now, so <clears throat> obviously, lizards stronger together. Um. Doesn't get the pal, that's a frustrating non pal. Does get a uh, a 2D to follow up though with a skink. Doesn't get the pal again. Oh, pushes him into the, uh, the skinks. What well, I might have pushed. I guess he wants to stop the dodge out. I might have pushed to the left and not followed, but yeah, I guess. I guess he wants to make that of a. Uh, a 4 plus rather than a 3 plus dodge out. So Tom is probably going to mighty blow this Saurus. We're going to stretch down the right. We're on turn 4 now. Still a little early. A little, little early. Not like massively early. Uh, he's he's got three play. Oh, that is a horrible push as well. That's a horrible push. Can't re-roll that because if it's a 1 in 9... It's, it's terrible. He needs to free up that lino, which now exposes his dancer. So the dancer's got to go back one and right, and he can't really afford to move the uh, the catcher unless he makes the dodge with the lino. So this is all interesting. This is turn order and stuff that's quite interesting. So where's the ball? Is the ball safe? Can't quite work it out from here. So what I'm expecting is the dodge from oh all right okay so it's going to protect with the catcher so this prevents movement forward uh because what he would ideally want to do is dodge the catcher off the uh dodge the lino in the middle on the two saurus and then move the catcher forward but he's gone for the safer option um which is to leave the catcher there yeah yeah this is this is it this is the turn order in problem um that the non pal presented. Um, we get to bang our war dancer. Yes. Well, he's going to go round and try and. Uh, as someone who's banged many dancers in my time, let me say the, uh, <laughs> That's the flex <laughs> flexibility's key. Yeah. Um, what he needs to do now is make something more. Uh, what's the word? Like important to blitz than the dancer oh yeah a nice distraction piece what he's yeah. done is isolate the dancer so the hitting it doesn't get you anywhere near the ball yeah and that there are elves up in the uh, in the backfield that he needs to put marking on but i think jim should absolutely I think hit jim, it jim should bang this dancer yeah yeah absolutely bang the dancer always bang the and dancer lads Jimmy, you've met my lovely wife she was a professional dancer for many years oh was she she was oh so you did bang the dancer 
At least twice. At least according, twice. According to the records. According to her. <laughs> yeah. It was all a DNA long time ago, and I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's not been released. Hello, Anorian. He's going to go, yeah, yeah. yeah do as many yeah, as possible. I definitely yeah, would. He's going for the dance. But so. I would do that whilst winning the game. Right, here we go. Gets his lovely pal. Oh, Golden pal. son of fun. Oh, we're gonna oh need it's an armor break, but only to a stun. Oh, that's a dick tease. Jimmy's going to have blue balls right now. Typical dancer with the dick tease. He'll have had the hand cream out ready. Uh, yep. Oh, he's going with the skink, so he's freeing up the crocs and getting the crocs. The crocs is blatantly going to bonehead here because he's yeah. freeing it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course if, if this is a proper game of Blood Bowl, no! the crocs... Oh, pow. He went with the skink hit and took it out anyway. Oh, beautiful. Man. Off donker. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Get off my fucking pit, Everything's bro. coming up, Jim, right now. <laughs> oh, the crocs is going to bonehead. Wow. Him. Very rowdy Apo there. That was a radio. Well, I mean, he's he suffered three KOs. If he doesn't score, he's got problems. He's got a babe, Dimmy. Oh, he has got a babe. That's what I was he's asking. He's got a babe, isn't he? When you, when you and he's thrown his away. apo at that. Now, that says to me someone that isn't sure he's going to score and thinks he'll may need to turn the skinks over in the second half. Uh, so let's keep his wrestle piece as well as his, uh, as well as his dances, isn't it? And he's got a two-plus dodge through tackle there. Lovely, lovely position for the Saurus, threatening the ball area. Oh, he yeah. stops the sideline cage as well. Also Beautiful stopping, placement. stopping the switch, but switch back to the centre. Beautiful placement of that skink there. Yeah, again, very, very nice. Making the dodges off very difficult off the mighty blow, Saurus. I would have moved the guard. Left. Would I, move? I would have moved the guard, Saurus, over one to the right, which he didn't move. The one next to the Croxagor. There's, Post a, is there's a very saucy route forwards down this wing, but it's... It's all sorts of problems. He's going backwards. You're running into the path of the, you know, into the valley of death road, the brave Tom Schnitz, but he's not going to. He's going to, I think you're right, he'll swap around back behind the, uh, the Saurus that's in the middle of the, his backfield to the other side of the pitch. And sure enough, there he goes. He's going mm. through it. He's going to go through the Saurus. Needs this to be a pow. Massive needs. To oh, it's a push. Oh, That's wow. less space available for the Woodies. It's not the end of the world. It's just less space. He can't. He's got three and he wants them for the next three turns. He's going to have to power forward, Dim. Uh, not. I mean, he's quick, but it's a long old way for the ball to still travel. Mm. And we're short on elves. Yeah, we're down to uh, seven and one is stunned. There's eight, but two are stunned. Ah. Oh, yeah, the dancer. Yeah, it's the dancer. So that gives us six active elves this round, two of which are trapped in 3-2 positions uh, without dodge. And one of which is on diving tackle, so that's probably nailed down. So we are full running away. Oh, we've left oh, a big gaping he, void yeah, there. Yeah, he's gone one square too far, isn't he, PC? I think he has. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I mean, you could argue that what he's doing, the Saurus can't get there unless it dodges and cuts the corner. So you're, you may be arguing that he's tempting the Sauruses through that void to try and create space. Mm. Um, but I don't hate it. Now that I've done the maths and, and counted the squares, I don't hate it. You'd have to put a 5-plus in to get a ball hit. With three rerolls. Yeah, and you could do it end of turn. So it is possible, but then you won't have any skinks. There's no skinks up there to, to you know deal with the ball afterwards. So... And there's no real scoring threat from Tom Schnitz either, so there's no real rush. But it would be a surf. You could surf that catcher. On a 5-plus with a reroll, what's that? That's like 55%, isn't it? It's a 5-plus, 2-plus, 2-plus with reroll. So it's about 50-50, right? Worse, but not massively worse. I'm just going to sand break because I'm quite interested. So... Because half he's in a time, bind and, you know... You win the game. Yeah, it would possibly <laughs> be a game-winning move. It could be. And I don't remember the Samba command. 46, so. there we go. 46.3. Has he put the re-roll in there? Oh, 23 is... Yeah, okay. Let's put the re-roll in there. So with a re-roll, 63.657%. Oh, hang on, I haven't put in the two-die needing... 
at least yeah. a brush ski. So it's 5 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, isn't it? Which will probably bring it down to about 40, I'd say. 60%, almost exactly, to go 5 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, and serve the ball carrier. I mean, that well, sounds good As long good as you're prepared to, to put a re-roll into it, which I absolutely would be. I think Rick has already done it, and he said... <laughs> like... Triple pals, mighty blow on the lino. And that is a Kaz, and that one's going to stick. There's no Apo. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting different results to that side of field. I'm on actual sand, but what have I done? Dodge 4+, plus, 2+, plus, 2+. Plus. Oh, I've I done mean, dodge 4+, plus. it's dodge 5+, plus, isn't it? Yeah, That's never right. trust a man with no fish. I wouldn't, Dimmy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting the same. 43.43 with reroll. Mm. Which is interesting. It looks like I'd he's doing it, it. It looks like he's still oh, thinking no, he's not. It a go. No, no, no. This, this, is the, this is the decline here. Yeah, yeah he's declined it. I, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, look how well he's got everything tied down without doing the blitz. 40% to surf a thing, get the ball God knows where. It's kind of sexy. However, he has absolutely nailed these elves down. Yeah, there's there's a severe lack of dodge on this Wood Elf team. There is, really is. Which is really. Well, it's because he's a filthy banger at heart. Look, you know his his major yeah, he's threat got, is yeah. making mighty blow, and uh, and tackle and strip ball. I mean, the mighty blow gives it away. So he can free dice the dodge pieces, and uh, yeah, the only hope he's got of scoring is through that dancer now. One, three. We're down to six elves, Oof, one of which is stunned. I think it's the one he appoed before. It's the catcher downfield, the wrestle, sorry, the lineman, the wrestle dodge lineman. That's his great hope for scoring. Where is he? That's I'm a one saying. in nine. Oh, that guy there, yeah. One in 36 out, yeah. Yeah, that one that's just at the bottom left there. Oh, what, so you blitz off the skink? Uh, the, not the side step. No, diving tackle. Out. It's one in nine, one in 36. Diving Get tackle, diving tackle piece. Oh, diving tackle. Yeah, you blitz that one. I think I blitz the guard source on the right and we rely on the dancer. No, you blitz the non-diving tackle one because it isn't sidestep. And even if it yeah, was, I know. it yeah, yeah. the diving tackle and gets you away at least. But I don't know if it, it, that will need... Uh, like, So if you get the push, it needs the dodge plus the GFIs and then... I think I, I would save I would save that dancer, right? So if I'm not blitzing that Saurus, I would save that dancer, leap over a dodge out and running forwards. But then I guess he's he's worried about the ball. But where he is now, he's still got two turns worth of of you know of range to get there. Mm. So that dancer is still like a it. Don't like it. That one less so. Yeah, he's just giving it. He's giving it some. Oh, right, he's still, he's going to dodge out that line and complete the. Uh, Cage of sorts. Technically, both of those dancers are in range. Of course, he rolls a one. He'll be rolling his eyes. Yeah, so how are we... We're not closing the front door, though. We're just going to... Oh, full the... power. This is going to be a Kaz as well, because yeah. it's ridiculous. Well, KO. Okay. Muck, luck, and Nick. That was a, that was a good day, Nick play there. Getting the KO on, on the 1D. He's got to do some uh, jiffies. No, no jiffies. I underestimated how fast Wood Elves are because they are disgusting. They are completely disgusting. Completely overpowered in this format. Soon to be dead in the next format. No, they're still they're hanging around at a reasonable spot. They're totally dead. They're not pop anymore, <laughs> but they're still sort of, you know, top 10 easily yeah. races. I lost them. They're the adjusting a bit. They're getting at the end of the day, fight. if they jump in your cage and roll a five, then you're screwed. So mm -hmm. uh, that's... If they roll a 5+, plus, 5+, plus, they win the game. I think we'll still see them in the top 5 once the metal set, meta settled a tiny bit more. Uh, how many uh, woodies were at um, Euro Bowl? Did you, did you go no, Euro Bowl? I, no. Uh, I bet there was a few. But here's a little tidbit that I find quite interesting. At the Welsh Open, which is happening today and tomorrow. Oh. Uh, seven. Rosters were registered with sneaky get death rollers. Wow, that's disgusting. That's uh, like I don't know that these three people registered sneaky get death rollers, but as a 
a complimentary piece of news. I know the following three coaches. Andy Davo, Joe Manji, and Purple Goo. All of whom I would think of as exceptionally good at reading rule sets and finding the weaknesses. Yeah. Have all taken death rollers to the Welsh Open. That's, yeah, that's a little bit disturbing. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't well, like I talk that. about where are we at right now. One of the places I want to talk about is are death rollers a bit too good for dwarfs? Yeah, blatantly. If those three are taking it, then yes. Well, it's... yes, that will be my thesis. Yeah. And if rule sets are specifically inventing rules to ban dirty, yeah. uh, sneaky get death rollers and a bribe on teams, which is what the World Cup did by report, then that's a problem, isn't it? Well, that would be my thesis. Sorry. <laughs> What? Are you not comfortable with that as a form of saying that's my the idea that I am putting forward? The argument I plan to make? My thesis, that is. Yeah, no, no, I was talking about feces. <laughs> no, feces, I see. Yeah. Making yeah, a thesis yeah. to feces joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Well, very, very good, good use of manipulation of language. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Marsden says he thinks only one dwarf coach didn't. They Only one dwarf coach didn't think they of that take new bribes. <laughs> well, as long as they as all have as, a bribe, they yeah, all have mate, it. a bribe Only and a death rob. Yeah. And McNaughton took two bribes. Yeah, See, filthy. this is the thing: is it's filthy. like rules like that make me not want to play tabletop. Well, look, it's is, a rule set that has left a hole that plenty of coaches who like to win have exploited. Yeah, you know, have helped point out to the rules makers that uh, this is a hole that they need to close. It just sounds I'm like bull... exploiting it. It yeah. sounds like anti fun bullshit. Like you know when you're sitting there and you're waiting for your next draw and then it comes up and it's like, Yeah, you won your game, congratulations. Now okay, you have Death so Roller Dwarves. When we go as the Twitch Stream Dream Team to the UKTC, you don't want me to bring my Death Roller on my dwarves then. I mean I absolutely want you to bring <laughs> Death Roller Dwarves because I want to win. <laughs> Right, but that I, would sort of be the point. Meanwhile, we've got a very it. important GFI failure there, yeah. leaving a very exposed war dancer ready to be no served. Side by a very happy, Jim. I, so I reckon let's talk Tom briefly about this. Is Tom there Tom any way to kill both of these dancers? That's going to be the big question. Uh, there's always a way, Jim. I mean, there is a way. It involves dodging a skink through the tackle to make the square, and then you could chain one into the other. But even then, you're only hitting one and surfing the other. I think you just surf the ball carrier here. It's the nastier of the two. Yeah, oh, I would 100% just surf the ball carrier. But I'm I'm a little bit conservative on this sort of thing. I mean, I, <laughs> like, I would just like be so overexcited about the fact that this game has gone so well. Right. Um, well, lock up your sons and daughters. A wild Fermier has joined us in the uh, yes commentary booth. Hello. Yes. Hello there, uh, gentlemen. Oh, it's going. Sorry, what is this? What are, what are we watching here? I don't understand. Well, I've got no idea. idea. Many it's confusing looking. things are happening. Jimmy is playing Blood Bowl. That's the first Yes, exactly. Thing. So, yeah. What's this? Um, this is a mod of Battle uh, Brothers? Me and me and Dimi are pretending very, very hard that the SFL matters to anybody. And uh, that we're interested. <laughs> and that we're sort of even vaguely interested in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is going quite well. We've We've... About 20% discussed the game. Oh, here we go. This is where he gets all pushes. Yeah. And then this is where the uh, Roger scores because he fails the uh, pickup. Yeah, I was going to say, it's the first time he's really tried with the Crocs. I'm amazed. I think he'll leave Diving Tackle on him and go with the other skink now. He's going to fail the pickup and uh, the uh, Roger's going to score. Can you push him out of range? Yeah, you can't push him out of range either, can no. you? Yeah. No, though the war dancer that is still on the field is out of oh, range. Oh, scoring threat. Quite important. <laughs> Sora scoring threat. We, uh, when there's a skink that can get into range, that's that's very classy. I'd love to play Among Us, Steve, but it's, it's all on gym, isn't it? Don't... Oh, I'd love a bit of that because I'm waiting on match the day. I wasn't going to do a lot of blood, but I might do some late. But I want to watch the City United highlights. I will, uh, I don't want to know the scoring case. So it ruins people in chat. But, uh, I would love to know the score. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to check it right now. Man, shitty. 
Are you completely forgetting we talked about this when I first joined? Uh, well, I kind of remember, but like, honestly, mate, I, uh... Has it been a, a lager Saturday? Uh, yeah, lager than usual, yeah. yeah. Um, so we have got the ball. Ah, the skink, yeah, we brought it all the way back rather than putting a scoring threat in. Now, what Jimmy secretly knows is how utterly shit diving tackle is. Um, an elf to just dodge Glorious. off diving tackle uh, no, managed to do it three out of four in. times. Until I'm victorious, and something I will like defend. five sixteen of the time, defend. you're on your ass, and the elf is still laughing. In before double power ball sack. Um, <laughs> so it's yeah. So what we're looking at five plus dodge. Oh, wow. that's a uh, three plus. Well, we started wow. with the two plus and failed it with our war dancer, who seems to be headed back to counter the scoring threat. As far as I can tell, he is. Oh, bless him. Oh. We're taking the Sora scoring threat seriously. I mean, did you not see that game in uh, Andy Davo's invitation? Uh, wherever <laughs> I, it was? I have. Yes, I've seen someone has. Oh, man, that was amazing. PC. That was, that was amazing. Like, it was like one of my favorite one scores. And yes, one play with one Sarus in, yes, in, the, in the recap video of uh, Jimmy's 2022. Yeah, that was a that was a dodge and a half. I think I'd have gone off to the sideline and then tried it through the, the gate between the two skinks. But it's a brutally difficult dodge. It's a 5 plus because of diving tackle and the tail. And it's going with the tackle over. And that's just it, dodge is... into nowhere. To dodge into two places made it a 6 plus, of course. Double power ball sack. In fact, a 7 plus, but you know. That's Ooh, here we thing. go. Blitz with tackle. And it's mighty blow. Oh! Got to pop it in. Diced. That's good hits he's had on both dancers. One got surfed, one got mighty blow hit for three die. And both have lived. That's going to be the irony of it. Like, Jim's yep. played superbly this half. Yep. And he's had a good result, and then he's yep. just going to get his ball stolen and be scored on in... Yeah, that, it's going to be hilarious, and it's going to really upset you. Oh, James. there you go. Uh, <laughs> good reset for... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. Jimmy, but the one skink we kept safe all half. Just kill the skinks, yes. Uh, all pla part of the plan of the bread mask, you know. A lot of elves running yeah. off that pitch there, uh, PC. A lot of elves running off that pitch. Three back. Yes, Game and on. Thanks, yeah. Backyard Dodo, for your uh, being subscribed for 52 months. Jesus, that's the... a lot of beaver pranks. I bet Jim I bet Jim was like, slapped his fire. Of course, Blood Bowl. Yeah. Of course. Every that was one single of those time. One he Every single time. Every single time. Every time. I thought I was going to have fun. It gave me fun for eight turns. This is going to be a blitz, isn't it? I'm sorry, Jim. This is going to be a blitz. I can feel it. I can that, that's feel key, it. By the way, full on miss next game. Not available next round. Hello, Flicky. Hello, I can Mr. feel Flack. it, game. I can feel it. This is going to be a complete horrific dicing for Jim. Now, Jim uh, yes, is going again. to be terribly sensible here and set up in an anti-blitz style. So he's going to cover his wings, cover his flanks, make sure there's people to deal with the ball, make sure no one can break through. He'll secure the ball, he'll get it into a nice safe cage. Tom Schnitz will leave it, kill the skin, and take the ball away. Because elves. Oh, is he going to Dakar? What the hell is this? This is anti-blitz. Yeah. So he needs to tackle out on both wings so that no one can slip down the sides. And he needs strength in every area across the pitch so they can't easily be blitzed off. And then the skinks directly behind the strength, because the ones he's left in the centre of the line of scrimmage can now actually be blitzed with, you know, an assisting guard in the right place. Well, he can, I mean, dodge no. through or leap over the skinks to get no, into the backfield. He can get into the backfield easily. Like he can elves just... can always get into your backfield, but it's yeah. making it as hard as possible and making sure as few as possible can come. Hey, he through. just slips the guard in next to the crocs, uh, yeah. and probably does either a 1D or puts the other guy in for the 2D, blitzes yep. through a skink, and then he's in, mate. And that's it. You can't stop this. 
You can't blitz through a skink because the ones on the line of scrimmage wouldn't get Rock. to act on a blitz. Rock to the ID skink. That's my bet. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, being dumb. So then you Be can leap over the skinks and dodge through them, but at some point you've got to hope that fails they don't get many elves through. Oh, oh no It blitz. isn't a blitz. So no it was blitz. an blitz defense. It was a good one. And the ball is midfield, and now Jim actually has to try and get it and move forwards, which will be Mighty the blow. Mighty blow actually <laughs> get off my does. Pitch, prick. Yeah, does a thing. <laughs> does a thing. Does it do a thing? I don't think it does. Yes. He did the, the, the cast. If not, it was yep. a KO. It turned the KO into a cast. Oh, beautiful. Both got four re rolls. This is a disgusting amount. This is like Blood Bowl 3, this is. But all Jim's got to do is win the drive. He doesn't have to worry about elves coming back. Just has to win the drive. It's easier said than done when you've well, got two strip ballers, no sure hands. To, to win like, the drive, he needs to worry leapers. about the elves because the elves are the opposing team. I think the Wood Elves they could are. be potentially the more dangerous team. on defense than they are on offense. I mean, obviously, yes, they're designed not, to come get like, your ball. Yeah, exactly. And Tom's offense was horrible. So okay, think, now this right. is looking good. Two removals. So <clears throat> we're going to see an all-in turn from Tom very soonish. And we've got the Crocs hit to come, Demi. So don't count your elves before they're all dead. I mean, That's coming from an NPC, which is a famous uh, elf coach, as everybody knows. It's, I think it's a widely accepted fact by now. Yes. And now, and now you see, you see the change in mentality where he's protecting the Saurus with the skink now, because that's changed that's the, in the first half. Like, yeah. where it's, it's now well, more important to protect the Saurus than it is the skinks. Yeah, I mean that skink's a trash skink. He doesn't care if it dies, and that Saurus is his big hitty piece. But Tom says, yes, please. I'll try and get back on numbers. And, of course, only pushes. Wow. No greed reroll. I thought there might be a tilt reroll there. No. You've, you've got to assume you can still take this to overtime as the woodies are the very worst. Yeah. Uh, well, overtime with three woodies. Probably still got a chance, <laughs> to be fair. We've got two KOs. We've still got that babe, Dimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... This is not settled by any matter in this SFL. Which round is this? Quarterfinals? Who cares? It's some nonsense, isn't it? Well, the problem I mean, is Jim's just going to sit where he is now. because he Is it, is it knockout? Problem. Is it a league? I mean, who knows? Who cares? Well, probably a squirrel cares, you know. I mean, He's the only one, honestly. I'm pretty sure that the rest of the people that play the SFL also care. Well, how many made the playoffs? Do we know? Eight? Is it eight? Or is it... I think it's eight. Is this the first or second round? Is it? There's four divisions. I think it's the top. I, I, I have no idea. For this kind of a small uh, tournament, I usually only come for the semi finals and the final. I'm doing this because, you know, it's Jim. It's okay. You know, it's a friend. So, yeah. Let's make it <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I got a uh, massive uh, donation into my PayPal earlier. That's the only reason I'm not playing Foxhole. That actually, I believe. <laughs> also, Dim, I'm pretty sure that the subscriptions I gifted to your channel I already I already ended, so you can stream <laughs> again. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do my one monthly stream. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're watching later, Fame. <laughs> I'm gonna play Blood Bowl at some point, so I'm gonna play some Undead just because I've got Water Bowl coming up on the 21st of February. Mm. So I am going to play some games just because yeah, I am. You see that month after it, you'll get your eye in, mate. I haven't rolled a dice since uh, October, so there we go. Yeah, I need to get back on the horse and uh, put a few games in. Get back on the horse. Well, that too, like that's that. too PC. Unfortunately, they're getting more and more expensive as I get older, you know. So. It's the cost of living crisis, mate. They've got it is. Yeah, yeah, and it's also the cost of. Uh, Aging as well. <laughs> oh, tell me about that. Uh, my birthday is at the end of the month. And, uh, oh, and happy birthday. birthday. 29 uh, years and 45 days. Ah, Ooh. see, I'm 29 years and 7 years. So, you know, could be, could be worse. Does get a pal. Doesn't get an armor break. 
Tom is playing these woodies is very bangy. Like yeah. I honestly believe that uh, Tom has highlighted his banger status by the way he's played this game. I mean, uh, here I know that it's horrible, but he's created a little hole up on the left where he could have three plus two plus three. With I'm dodge. not a fan, PC. Got an elf into the backfield. I think you need to put some pressure on this ball holder, make the lizard's yeah. cage up properly, because he's that's playing... where you can get the the dancers onto it. He's playing dash like bash, and uh, I'm not sure I'm a fan. Oh, chain to get an extra hit on a... Uh... Lovely. Excellent. Excellent play from uh, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, right now there's only one person doing the creative plays. And that's uh, a lovely hit that gets the cans without Mighty Blow and pushes another elf onto the Mighty Blow. It's goodly good. A double Mighty Blow. Yes, but you go with the Saurus first here, not the Crocs, and then the Crocs if it doesn't get the. Yeah, but they're both mighty done. blow. They're both they are. You're blows. not wrong, so you're it's, not uh, wrong. And both three dice are. Well, it could be three dice, but. And now he can put the Crocs uh, next to the Dancer. Yep. Except the push means he can't. Ooh, but he could no, have done. I would have, yeah, I would have pushed it up. up the right. other way. Oh, yes, in the other. Uh, but the cross can go something somewhere interesting, or it can not activate. You know, it's nice and central in the field. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the cross is alright what it is, yeah. but yeah, having the crocs next to the dancer and uh, the the Roger. I like the crocs on the dancer because I think Tom's got no option but to roll all the dice and come for the ball next turn because if he doesn't it's game over well not game over but it's like another turn of certainly i'd like to see one of those two dancers in the backfield threatening i want to see both i want to see both threatening the ball and in range to hit and i like honestly he hasn't got the players like this is where you just go right i'm losing throw my hat in i'm going for it so potato with uh, both dancers yeah yeah Make him hand off, it's a free plus. Yeah, the problem is with exactly, with both, you're just asking for him to go past you. Hand it off to another skin and just go past you. I'd go with, I'd go with... Uh, if you hit one, one back and come with the okay. other, then he's so got I'd to go with, Okay, to okay, I'd, I'd go with the Mighty Blow Dancer and the Catcher, the Movement Catcher, and I'd leave the Wrestle Dancer at the back. Yeah, I like that. And then, but he has to put pressure on this ball, otherwise he's just going to bleed out slowly. Yes, absolutely. Because right now the, the Sauruses can hold a line all the way across the field, just hit, and they don't have to worry about the back door or a cage or any of that. Yep. He's thinking probably about the hitting that Soros with the Blitz, so there is a space. Or it's the just skin. an investment. I would have just dodged through. I would have leapt over with a dancer and dodged through with a catcher. I don't think I even would have bothered hitting This him. does give him the hole, though. Very he ballsy have... doing it one day. Oh. I quite like it. Do you? I guess he, he needs to make plays, right? Yeah. He gets the stun as well. Now, has he got the nerve to come through into the backfield? And he absolutely some sort has of psychological to. He's pressure got, on this one. Has he's, to. He's it's got no time. choice. He's got no choice. Yes, he does. Lovely. Good work, Tom. Yeah. Sorry, I've fully swapped. I mean, it was now. 1D, but uh, it was uh, more safer than mm -hmm. the leap, because the leap is a 3+. plus, And the one that is only is a problem with the skull, because the push was also good enough. To create the yeah, hole. on a both down, you can just dodge off and do it another turn. Yeah, but, the but I like this. Lovely, got, the we're finally, lovely. having to oh, do the ball here. Ah. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. He's doing the dinny plan. Oh. Everything all at once. Not both sure dancers could. in both sides. Where that's yeah. gone? I was the first one that said they use both dancers. Oh, okay. Dinny's the Fermi and content. dinny plan that I had. I right, said, I, what, what? I said both dancers. Oh, you're both pretty. Come on, I said the only problem with the both dance. Oh, he's failed to dodge. Wow. Um, the only problem with the both dancers is the handoff, right? Which is still a problem now. And he has got the wrestle as the backup, but even so. <clears throat> but this is this was always going to happen, boys and girls. This this was like this is recognizing you're in, or you're up the creek and you haven't got your paddle. And throw in everything at the game. Like this is this is uh, a very good coach demonstrating exactly why. Um, that was cards, uh, Jim oh, that was that would have been squeaky bum time. So it looks like Jim's just going to make a cage up the right. He has KO'd the dancer as well, which is huge. You realise I'm taking full credit for this. I was the one that told Jim. Um, 
just kill all the elves. Uh, you said kill the dancers, didn't you? I, I did, I did, and that seems to be working, Dibby, so uh, yeah, all the credit <laughs> for me. I think uh, Jimmy is going to need to maybe do the... Well, he well, can with catch the with, an guard to, with an outguard to at least... Yes, he has yeah. to It's still going to be a 1D though, isn't it? Yes, if he really wants to. Yes, it can be. No, you can put guard on all four corners, making it uh, 2 Yes, it's a 2 uh, red, red dice. But uh, with the reroll gone, I did like the idea of handing off and getting all the way up the other end of the field. I mean, red dice with wrestle. Okay, the like with the uh, reroll gone, you just can't. not wrestle, is it? It's just strip. No, it's triple. Red but dice triple strip still works. Is still no pretty shots. good, though, isn't it? It's got to be like over sixty-five percent. So that the king doesn't have block or so, about sixty-five percent. So both down also works. Is that am I talking nonsense? It's about. No, so it's a one in four that you get the pals because any anything with a pal on it works. Yeah, but and you get the pushes. With pushes, you get strip ball, so those are all good too. And he's also down. got blocks, so yes. it's it's you're just avoiding skulls, right? So yeah, it's you just got a skull be, on either dice. It's got to be over sixty five percent. That's surely. fine. That Don't need to re-roll it because you strip. And this is just the BS of Wood Elves, honestly, and why I hate everyone who plays Wood Elves, including you, and Arian. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> what we do is we strip it onto the other skink. Who's in range, right? Which, because we didn't cancel any of the uh, possible scatter options, was catching on a four and rolled a four. Now, we just didn't have the elves to put an elf on it, but had we put an elf on it, it would not have caught it. Hmm. Interesting. However, I just don't think we had enough elves spare to really mark up the cage properly before we did the hit. So Jimmy has the ball on a skink, but in the face of two elves. Well, I think uh, it's a good position because... None of the selves have a tackle. No. But of course, it being two of them, he can't blitz them both off, so probably he needs to dodge out. No, he can make a. Yeah, he can a chain. Make a square. But the point to then use that. Is the other elf in the backfield has covered, so it's it's hard to get to, but it is possible. You're right. Yes, Jimmy taunted home with uh, where did you get the sweeper? Of course, I mean at this level of blue ball, you know the. The chat game is guaranteed to be the maximum level. The Blood Bowl part of the Blood Bowl game, though, a bit more variable. Uh, oh, yeah. Double skulls again. Oh, is he going back? He should consider, well, I think he's going to foul. Or I th or at least he should think deeply about fouling that uh, war dancer. Hand off to the A4, which is an easy uh, cage. And now here comes the foul. Yep. I mean, Jimmy must foul. You would have thought so. It is the remaining dancer, the only real big threat to his ball carrier in a cage. And if it's gone, it solves all his problems, but... Uh, so does the... 
Ana idiotic skin. Terrible foul, this. terrible foul, a standard gym foul there. Uh... Yeah, that last source that moved, I would have kept him for the assist, and that annoyingly might have broken the armor. But of course, it would have been a different role, and I don't do my maths that way. But very unlucky there. No, you needed a six plus and didn't get it with uh, three assists in. No, with um, that's what brought it down to six plus. But yeah, a six plus. And now Lebred Mas coming back with the chat game maximum level here. At least. Well, he has a, again a, two dice on the two red dice. And once again, get it. Where is Dimi? Where is uh, Dimi G? Are we missing him? He's eating a kebab already. <laughs> I feel alone in the booth now. Too many red dice. But he has to, he wants to have a chance of winning this game because now the dancer dies. Lebred Mass dropping uh, Tom, dropping the GG. Jim, as a true professional, keeping a uh, calm. Calm? I bet he's sweating buckets. No, but he didn't uh, got affected by the GG. You know, a normal GG would have made that block be two skulls. It's going to be a snake. Calling it. Pick the ball up first, Jimmy. Pick the ball up. Oh. Two plus. He has a reroll. One in 36 of fucking up the pickup. Other than that. This looks... Hands up in chat, who's never lost the game to a 1 in 36. I don't see any hands in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any hands in chat. I've definitely lost games to 1 in 36. Everybody before. has lost games to 1 in 36 and 1 in 192s and more or less any combination. Oh, man. Yeah. Only in Blood Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. All, well, only in any game that involves rolling two dice. <laughs> Have you ever played Perudo? Perudo? I don't know what's that. Oh, mate, if I ever meet you in real life, we're going to have to play Perudo in the pub one day, and it will be amazing. Well, if you are planning to go to the Nick Con in York, maybe we can meet there. I am. I'm going. I'm going. I am uh, too. I need to just get a hold oh, of Nick I'm to gonna see. I'm going to buy a Perudo set. I'm going to buy a Perudo set. Oh my god. Ah, super skink. Jimmy is tasting victory. He's a one turn away from victory in the quarterfinal. Yes. And also, Mark uh, says he has never lost at the game, but there is only one coach that has never lost a game of Blood Bowl, but in his own words, and that's a. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Dionysian because he defines winning in a different way for each game you know the result doesn't matter you know the numbers are just irrelevant yes but as long as he has learned and he has gained that way so it's a win yeah exactly plus so never happens, loses you know, it was always a win I think Skurmetsa no, pays to have his wins eradicated from the rule book so I'm not sure he's ever lost Wow, PC. I mean, that's something we can't discuss on this channel. I mean, Absolutely. I've, I've had my, uh, my, my bunk. <laughs> oh, now, Dibby, there is a, a related issue. Um, are you planning to come to Nick Con? Um, well, no, but I am planning to go to UKTC. So, right. 
Um, so if I'm arranging transport for us, and yeah, I'm planning right. to go to NickCon, aren't they both at the same time or something like that? <laughs> Maybe, yes. I mean, I have no interest in the UKTC, but I thought it was uh, at the same time. Uh, it's well, the night before, yes, it's the Friday evening. It's the night before Christmas. Uh, so, yes, so, you know, to celebrate the Nikon, you know, the UK TC tournament, trying to take advantage mm. of the cloud that brings the uh, Nikon to York. Look at this terrible sportsmanship from Jimmy Fantastic, oh, no. fouling the one turner. Won the game, but still disgusting. wants to make sure that he's won the game. It's what horrific. a monster. What a monster. Horrific. Like, honestly, this is why I hate Blood Bowl 2. It's like, people like Jim fouling this guy when he's won the game already, you know? To ensure that he's still won the game already. I, uh, I am being yeah. sarcastic for those of you that don't know that... <laughs> he's <laughs> full punished. We all knew. We that does all nothing. Knew. Total Jim that foul. That was going to be the result. Yep. Yeah, Sadafil, we may have to talk about how you're planning to go up because me and Dimmy, the lift I thought we might have had from maybe all the way from Brighton, is now looking a little shakier. So if you're driving, time. my friend, we uh, we might. Oh, is Sata driving? Oh, Sata. Right near where I live. Get in. I uh, thought Sata lived in Haver. Haver. He lives a little way north of me. I thought he lived in Haverhill for some reason. Which is know. why we are now social friends comes to my middle class gatherings. Oh, there he does. Uh. <laughs> As gatherings, you know, the, the ones that do for the charity. Oh my god, am I getting a lift with Sata? Amazing. Well, it might be you have to get to me and then we have to get to Sata. Well, I've done that before. Which might be so I, 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 Dwelling Garden City. Yeah. Yes, that might be the route we look at doing. Yeah. Okay, well that will save me a few quid. I'll give you petrol money as well, Sata. I haven't mate. told you this, Timmy, but Sata's keeping it our gaff as well. Yeah, no, you did. You told me the okay. other day. Yeah, I said that uh, I'm only going if I share a bed with Satterfield. Well, that can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily for me, I live in Edinburgh, so it's just a, I think, two hours or three hours train. Well, at the moment, Edinburgh, you've got a private double straight. room. If I could put Satterfield on the floor in your room, that would really help. That eases sofa space. I wouldn't let him sleep on the floor. If the and I'm 100% uh, taking a room for myself in a B&B. Regular B&B, no an Airbnb. I don't want the, anyone's a living room. <laughs> well, yes, we are We are basically creating a hostel. Because whilst there's two private doubles in the place I booked, there's a double that has two bunks in there and then a room with just two bunks. And then also sofas that people will be sleeping on. And we have two vans parked outside with people sleeping in there. For you sleeping in vans? Why? Because you want to burn them while they're sleeping in the van. I mean... No, they, their choice. These are the sort of people I know. They just they want to live in vans. Oh yeah, that's the Welsh lot. I don't know how my life. Oh has my come god, to is, this. is is that is, there are going to be you know these camper van people? Yes, one of them is a one of them is a scouser. Oh my god! Well, and the other are, one, of course. frankly, is from civilized areas. He's from Brighton, down on the south coast. Who's that? Neil Watt. Oh uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I know. I know what. But Hancock's got his converted um, child abductor, isn't he? Uh, sorry, van that he uses when he goes child abducting uh, uh, to motocross. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we... have you been like this whole game? No. <laughs> well, it's surprised me he doesn't seem to fit a motorbike in any way, shape, no, watch, or form. Don't worry about <laughs> the... no. Let me. Uh, GG. No, we've been full of praise, Jim, for your, your brilliant play. Oh, I think Never. you. Never. Although I've taken a lot of the credit, I was right. You know, <laughs> hit the war dancers. I said that. Kill the war dancers. Kill all the elves. And you seem to have followed that plan to a team. Yeah, lots of removals, wasn't there? Very, very lucky most of the time. A couple of double skulls for squeaky bum times. And GG, Tom Schnizer. It's not over, though, is it? Like, there's the one turn is pretty. It's pretty not likely. over. It's don't someone, say it's over. Someone, I've noticed the early GGs from Tom Schnitz here. Um, no, I, look, I completely agree, chat. Tom. You did play very poorly. <laughs> he's not. He's not. <laughs> Eddie Oldsmore here. Yeah. He didn't play very poorly at all. No, he really did. <laughs> I thought he played terribly, to be honest. Yeah, I did. No, um, did. Mostly did. as well in building a team without a lot of dodge, because elves, it turns out, quite like dodge. Yeah. 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 I so guess the lack of dodge true. was quite key. Um, I didn't think you played that poorly, mate. But I thought there were a couple of moments that I thought, "What the hell is this? Why?" I would have won. I would have won this game. Doing other things. 
You would have won this game if you were the if you were the Woodies or the Lizards. I don't. Uh, both, both, Jim. Yeah. Both. I'm, the, I'm, I'm the champ. Like, yeah, you know? fair it's enough. In the champ. We felt the Lizards were played well and just showed how the Lizards should win, but the you know Woodies, if played at all competently, would have won very easily. <laughs> Oh look, Six X is in chat. Flicky Flats in chat. No, I'm in chat. PC's in chat. You know what that means, Jim? Don't you? Among Us. Oh, <laughs> he knows it. He knows it. Um, Saturday night. Cool who could have said that a Saturday night you were going to play Among Us? Oh my! <laughs> God, it's happening, boys. It's happening. Steve Morty's in chat. Oh baby. This one turn is still technically on. Should we care? It is. Yeah, no, we should. No, I really hope it doesn't work. <laughs> he doesn't get Among the us. three die red push he needed. Uh, take or, the power, Jim. Or just take, take the power, Jim. Take the power, Jim. Take the push, Jim. Make it interesting. No, right. Give us the ending now, we all deserve. Jim has now been banned for coaching. <laughs> take it away, Tom. Just for fun. <laughs> I was just thinking, I had one terrible second that I was like, wait a minute, have I got dodge on? Have I got dodge on Manny One? And then I realised it was a Saurus. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Yeah, use the wrong leap square. Yes, yep. you did could've, use the wrong leap square. Yeah, that up. could easily have been two yeah. instead of three. Yeah. Phew. Right, Nukes now, law. Now I can pick the push, can't I? <laughs> You, GG. Oh my god, he took the push. Oh no, no, it's back on. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> it's back on. Oh god, imagine if, if it is back on. It is, look. Can you not see the uh, extra blitz that he's got? Like, you know? <laughs> and the four extra players? No, uh, yeah. no. Oh, no. oh, man. oh, oh man. no. Turn 16, Croc's death. Oh, thank god for that. <laughs> You can still foul the crocs. Oh! Although there was the bitter irony, Jim, in that lovely first half of the one skink you protected and kept safe died on a go for it, won't be there next game. Yeah, for fuck's sake, I should have just taken. Like, if it had been a four plus pass, I would have just taken the four plus pass, but it was going to be a five plus pass, wasn't it? So I thought, I can't yeah. do a five five, I've got to do a two four five, and then, yep, of course. Of course. Insta death. Ugh, oh, brutal. Um, I laughed a lot. That was amusing. <laughs> for a game which virtually nothing rides on that's that was good that was a win yep yeah it was a good game wasn't it i mean i did get pretty lucky with all the powers but then you know it didn't get that many blocks actually only 31 blocks and 17 av breaks so incredibly lucky on the uh does does everyone in the sfl get through to the playoffs uh no only about half <laughs> okay so there's people that played worse than tom did this season <laughs> oh yeah yeah okay yeah. much worse but there you are tom you've got that <laughs> you reach the quarterfinal, Tom. Uh, <laughs> who's your next opponent, Jim, in this uh, SFL uh, tournament? That could happen any point from now until the dead, uh, hit uh, the death of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> it is either uh, Gedenik or Skuro. Um, oh, so two great Will coaches. Skuro brave Nick. <laughs> I was going to say, you'll be hoping for Skuro, you could use the money. <laughs> um, Gdynik's team is pretty great, got loads of bludge, uh, some sidesteps, some guard. Um, and then Skuro's team is unbelievable, actually. He's got a strength six block mummy, two block mummies, one strength six, two racklers, tackle 90, loads of guard. Really, really nice undead team. So I'm sure that'll be a thrilling game and it'll be very tough, whoever wins. But um, there you go, that's it. A glorious win. Thank you uh, for the game, Tom. And of course, thank you so much, Dimmy and PC and Fymir as well. Glorious. Yes, yes. Uh, well. Yeah, yeah, Peter, I was watching uh, Andor, the Star Wars show. I know it's already over, but I was saving it, you know, until it's, uh, and I had time. Right, isn't it? And I have to say, you know, the thing, as soon as the first five minutes, like, okay, these people actually had interest in doing this show. Yeah, because the yeah, problem yeah. with more and many many shows, not only Star Wars but lots of shows nowadays, they feel like lazy. Mm -hmm. Like they are not like making the actual effort. They don't have the time or whatever. Obi Wan Kenobi is the maximum example of that. Oh yeah, right. Well, like, be, be, just to interrupt you, there, I'll try and wrap up the YouTube video. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, YouTube, sorry. No problem. Uh, no problem. Nice little advert for Andor there. If only I could get a few million for that, that'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.